Hey guys, it's Ali G. When I first dyed my hair from black to gray, I got a lot of questions and a lot of people asking about how I did it or where I went to get it done. But surprise, I did it on my own, in my house, and just over the course of a weekend. When I did it, I made a Snapchat story and I shared it with all my friends, but as we all know, those don't last too long, so aside from the copy that I saved myself, it is long gone from history. I thought I'd share the story with you guys here though, and add some extra commentary and explanation to this stuff. Obviously, before I dyed my hair, I did a bunch of research. Just like you're doing now, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. I didn't want to just follow one person's example, so I tried to get a bunch of different opinions. A lot of the videos were tutorials, and they showed as they were doing it, and the instant results. But the only problem with that is, what about after a couple washes? What about after it's been out in the sun? So instead of doing a video right away, I decided to wait about three to four months to tell you guys about how I dyed my hair gray. Right now, it doesn't look too hot. Um, I haven't touched it up in a while, and I just got out of the shower, and it's still a little bit wet. But here's how I did it when I first dyed my hair gray. In the beginning, my hair was dark brown, almost black on the roots, and it got lighter near the ends. I had had my hair bleached on the ends before. I put brown trying to match it, but clearly it didn't work. When I started this though, I didn't want that fake brown on top of the bleach, so I used Color Fix by One and Only, and I was hoping that this would lift up that fake brown that had been on top of the lighter ends. This smelled like rotten eggs. It smelled like shit. It smelled so bad. I had it on my head under a cap that I'd used before for a hydration mask, like a conditioning mask, and it smelled so bad. When I was done with that, you could tell that the ends were much more lighter brown blonde. Um, it didn't really do anything to the rest of my head because that was my natural hair color, obviously. It was still dark, but the ends were light and that fake brown was lifted off them, which is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to try to bleach away color that was already on top of my hair. That's just too many layers and too much crap. I actually bought two kinds of bleach when I did this. I wasn't sure which was best. I'd seen different results and watched different reviews. So the first one I used was by Salon Care and it was the Prism Lights. When you mix the bleach, it actually turned out really blue and it said it had a green apple scent. It wasn't really that scented, but it didn't smell as burny as bleach. <laughs> I put it around the recommended time. I forget exactly what it was, probably somewhere between like 30 to 45 minutes, knowing myself probably more on the later side. I did both the color fix and then the prism lights on Friday night. After I washed out the prism lights bleach, you could tell that my hair was that orangey blonde. Because of the heat, the roots were a lot lighter and that's where the natural hair was. The ends still didn't lighten as much, either because it wasn't as warm or because of all the crap that had been on my ends. I still have issues with my ends matching the rest of my head to this day, so who knows. Throughout the entire process, after every time I bleached it, I did not blow dry it. And my hair is really thick, so it takes a while to dry. So that Friday night, I let my hair air dry, or tried to let it air dry overnight, and then toweled it off. So on the Saturday morning, I did a second round of bleach. This started to make my hair look so much lighter. I didn't use the same bleach. I used, I believe, Wella Color Charm. Got the best remarks from my boyfriend comparing me to Draco Malfoy, to uh, Eminem back in the day. Pretty much anyone who had like white blonde hair. After the second round of bleach, I washed it out and I put on a drying towel and I let it air dry slash towel dry slash no heat. You can tell my roots were a lot, lot lighter. Even the side shave had been bleached and where it's naturally really dark like this, it had been turning white. I had some fun as it was drying slowly. I'd never had hair this blonde before, so I had to like take some Snapchats and send them to friends because I, I was being goofy. Finally, that evening, I did my last round of bleach. Yeah, I bleached my hair three times in one weekend. I know, I know, I know. Any hairdresser out there is probably cursing me right now, but it's my hair, that's what I did. 
I did the third round of bleach. I went back to the prism lights for this one because it seemed a little less intense. I wanted to focus more on the ends. The roots had already been really lightened as you could tell by the previous footage, but the ends I was still having issues with. And I left this on only for half an hour this time, no longer. And I wanted the ends to lighten up to try to like even it out more. Bleach works really well with a bit of heat. So I did two Princess Leia style buns since I was only getting the ends of my hair. And I didn't have my shower cap anymore to keep it all there so it didn't get on our furniture. So I used plastic bags. Very fashionable, I know. But the plastic helped keep in the heat. So I left the plastic bag on with the bleach for a half an hour and then I washed it out. After I washed it out, my hair was a lot, lot lighter. Um, the footage right here is a bit yellowish because of the lighting. And I used a hair mask that night. I wanted it to absorb some extra moisture and conditioning because of the three times processing plus the color fix. I didn't want it to be complete crap and I was a little worried. Let's be honest, I was winging it. When I was in high school and I used to do Manic Panic and it was the ice cream dry tea mask and it smells like banana pudding. It smells so good, legit banana pudding. I did that overnight hair mask and then I put a bit of the ice cream dry tea banana on the ends in the morning and I looked like I belonged to the Malfoy family as you can tell and by my caption. So Sunday, it was probably around noon, I started to do this. I was going to use the Wella Color Charm Cooling Violet 050, and I used the Wella Color Charm Toner in T14, the Pale Ash Blonde. It works by taking away the yellow and golden tones that might be in hair, and as you can tell, my bleach job isn't the best. So I hoped it would help a bit, and I finally put the toner on. <laughs> It was like Sunday afternoon after all this, I'm just like, I just want it gray. So I put the toner on, I left it on for approximately what they said. The first time I do anything, I usually leave it on for the max amount they suggest, and then I hit snooze on my phone or something because I'm used to having dark hair and it takes forever for it to dye. Mixing the toner, it turns into a purpley gray shade. So when it was applied right onto my hair, it instantly became dark. So saturating it in that over time really made it feel the gray and peeking under the cap you can see that it is like a purple gray stage it looks like pen ink to be honest then i washed it and it was grayish there's some areas where you can tell look more golden than others underneath where it bleached very nicely to white it gets a bit more gray and some of it's a bit yellowish but when you're going from super dark round to that, I was, I was pleased with the overall results. If I can, I'm going to add some more photos from around that time on screen about now. A week after I dyed it, my best friends came up for my birthday, and if I have any photos, I'll add them here. Two weeks after I dyed it, I went to visit my mom for a belated birthday. We went and got makeovers at Sephora. And here's how my hair looked around that time. I think the last photo that I have from this progression or this one dye was right before Christmas time when we were going to our work Christmas party. And this is what it looked like then. If you're curious about the products and you wanna do it yourself, I would recommend watching way more videos and doing all your research on your own but when I used it, this is the products that I had. The two bleaches I used were the powder lightning tub, this one here, and the Prism Lights Dust Free Blue Lightener right here. I used the Color Fix Hair Removal right here. By Wella Color Charm, I used the T14 Pale Ash Blonde, and I had the Cooling Violet additive hair color with it also. To achieve the look that I first had, that's all I used. Pretty much got rid of everything that was on my hair, bleach, 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 and then tone with the cooling violet additive. And I had it like that for about a month until I became paranoid that it wasn't perfect and I did other shit to it. 
Thanks for watching. Hopefully, if you're curious about hair color or how the hell my hair went from like that to as it was in the photos or some recent photos, that's exactly how it happened. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or any comments, put them down below and I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, you can hit that subscription button and watch all my videos. No pressure.